Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is part 11 of ASP.NET and C tutorial. In today's session, we are going to discuss how to bind the data to grid view. This is the example we are going to discuss in today's session. We are creating one web project in that we are going to create one web form. So we will design one grid view like this and we will create a stored procedure to get the data from the database and we will bind to grid view. We will see quick demo first. So this is the example we are going to discuss in today's session. So we have created one web project in that I created one web form here and I created one table inside that I added one header here and I created one grid view and I have table called employee monster. I want to read the data from the database and I want to bind like this. Okay. For that I am creating one stored procedure to get the data from the database and I am binding to this grid view. For this example I used Microsoft Visual Studio and we are going to use ASP.NET and C from Visual Studio. And for database we are using Microsoft SQL Server to get the data from the database. These are all the implementation steps we have to implement one by one to get the data as we expected. First we have to create one new project and then we have to create one web form and we have to design our template as per our requirement. Then we have to create a connection string in web.config. We are going to read the data from the database. For that we have to create a connection string in web.config. So then we have to create one stored procedure to get the data. We are creating one stored procedure here and we will read the data from the database. Then, then we have to create a class file to store all our business logics. Finally we have to create a function to bind the data to grid view. So whenever page is loaded on page load we have to bind the data to grid view. Now we will switch to Visual Studio and we will implement these steps one by one. For this example I am using Visual Studio 2013. First we have to create a new project. For that click on file new. We have to create one project here. Under Visual C Shop you select the web. Under web we have to select Visual Studio 2012. We are going to use C Shop here. That's why I selected C Shop. If you want to use Visual Basic you can select Visual Basic here. I am going to use Visual Studio 2012. I selected my .NET Framework as 4.5.1 because I have latest one is 4.5.1 and I am selecting empty web application here. We have to give project name here. I am giving as grid view. Click on OK. Our project has been created. Expand the solution explorer. Our project is created here. Now we need one web form for that right click on the project, click on add, click on new item, select the web form. I am giving us grid view example, click on add. So our web form has been created here. Now I need to design here. For that I am taking one table here, I am taking one table row. Here I want to provide my header, I am giving us grid view example. So then one more table row I am taking to insert our grid view. So you can drag and drop from the toolbox here. You go to data, select grid view just drag and drop here so our grid view is created here i'm renaming this one grid view example then i don't want auto generated columns for this because we will give column names as manually click on design mode so here we can align in center this text and I want to make it this bold. You can format the grid view. Click on auto format. I am selecting autumn here and I want to change font size this one. I want to make it as extra large and I want to select the entire table and I want to make it in center. Now we have to add the columns from the employee master. We'll switch to SQL Server first. 
I am using SQL Server 2012 and I am using Windows authentication for database connectivity. Click on connect. Expand the databases. I am going to use demo database for this example. Expand the tables. Here our employee mastery is available. We will check the column names available here. So we need name, designation, salary, state and country here. So we will add columns here to bind the data. Columns. I want to bound field one by one. We need header text here. I am giving serial number here. I want to display first serial number. Then I want to display my data field here. So I will give here row number. So I will copy this. So then one more we need name here. Just I am renaming this. This data field name should match with your table names, whatever the values you are providing here. Then I need designation. Then we want salary here. I am giving header text and data field value is same so that it will be easy for binding data then finally we need country name here okay row number i want to display in center and salary i want to display right because because this is currency and country also i want to display center just check the design Okay, I want to give background color for this header format. Click on background color, select any one color. Now we have completed the design part. Now we have to create one connection string in web.config. Switch to Visual Studio. Double click on web.config. Here we have to add connection string. Connection strings. I have to add one connection string. First, we have to provide the name here. I am giving as my connection string. Connection string you have to provide here. First, we have to provide data source here. I am using Windows authentication for this demo purpose. So, I am giving my machine name. Then, you have to provide initial catalog here. That is your database name. If you want, you can provide us database also. Then integrated security true. So now our connection string is ready. Next step is we have to create one stored procedure to get the employee data. For that, we'll switch to SQL Server. Click on your database, click on new query. We have to create one stored procedure here. Create procedure. I need one user defined stored procedure. Get employees. I want to begin here, end. to write the select query here select name required store from dbo dot employees employee master this is our table name so we are getting data from this we need name designation salary state and we require country and i want to order by name okay 
execute the query salary column name is wrong now we execute the query so we are getting data as we expected here we need one row number to add the row number what we have to do is row number over order by name we will give this column name as row number then we will get name designation salary execute the query we are getting row number here okay we have 14 records so we are getting up to 1 to 14 okay click on execute so our store procedure is created here next step will be we have to create one class file to store all our business logics and we have to read the data from our class file switch to visual studio right click on the project click on add class i am going to create one business logic class bll underscore grid view click on add so our class has been created here we have to read the connection string here then we have to get the employee data based on that connection string okay public i am going to create one static function here to get the connection string it will return the string we need to import some namespaces here i need system.configuration to read the connection string and i want data here also i want data dot sql client also so i am creating one local variable here i am assigning empty value now we have to read the connection string here configuration manager dot connection strings here we have to pass our connection string name this is our connection string name i'm pasting here now we will get the connection string name so we have to return the connection string so we have to return the connection string here now our connection string is ready now we have to read the data from database that i'm creating one function here it, it will return data table get employee data i need sql connection I need sql command then we need sql data adapter need one data table to store the written values We're using i have to establish connection here connection string now we have established the sql connection here so this is the connection string here so we are calling connection string now we have to create command here for that connection dot connection dot create command command dot command type we have to provide here we are going to use stored procedure then you have to pass the command text here that means store procedure name so here we will get our stored procedure name this name should match with your sql server database sql da then sql data adapter we have to assign the command here then we will get the data table here fill with the data table finally 
we have to return the data table we are storing all the data into D data table dt employees and we are returning this data table now we have to create a function to bind the data to grid view okay for that right click on your aspx space click on view code i am going to create one function here public void bind data i'll create one function to bind the data i need one namespace here system dot data i'm creating one data table dt employees and it will be null initially then now i want to read the employees we will get it from our business logics bla grid view obj i'm giving same name so we are initializing our business logic here obj grid view dot get employee data now we will get the employees data here now if dt employees dot rows dot count is greater than zero then we have to bind the data gv example dot data source will be our data table name we have to provide here then we have to bind the data suppose if there is no data available in employee master that time we have to show it as there is no data available so for that i'm adding one new row empty row i'm providing data source here i'm binding empty row then we have to clear the because there is no data only empty row only added i want to clear the cells i want to add one new table cell now only one table cell is available and for that i want to assign call span dt employees dot columns dot count it will so number of columns we are reading from dt employees based on this count we are using call span so then we have to assign the empty text here if there is no data means i want to display as no data found okay like this i want to display the message for user so this text i want to display horizontally center for that horizontal align and setting as center so that it will be displayed in center final step will be our our web page is loading that time we have to call the data and we have to bind the data to grid view so for that if it is not post back then i want to bind the data so you have to call this function in the page load okay build the application there is no error run the application by pressing control f5 so it is loading as we expected okay so we created one table here so this is header we provided in one row second row we created one grid view and we are created one stored procedure to get the employee data so we are binding the data at the time of web page loading okay like this we can bind the data to grid view so if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching my video